Hey guys, my name is Digital and welcome back to another Origin. Now this one is one of my favorites and it took me quite a long time to code. Um, if you guys really do like this, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, comment down below which one I should make next. And uh, yeah, without further ado, here is the Sky Surfer Origin. For the next ability, we have With the Stars. This basically means that if you press your G key, aka your primary ability key, a star will glow up, up under you. Now this basically means that you have creative mode flight wherever you go. However, if it's daytime, then you will fall instantly to your death. Also, you cannot use this one under anything. If you try to, you will fall and... Yeah, you'll still take fall damage. So, that's just definitely you don't want... That's just something you just don't want to have. So, uh, be, uh, be careful when you see these guys during night because that's when they can really do a lot of things to you because they can just um they could they can just leave you know what i'm saying like like if you were just if you were in an intense pvp battle they could just they could just leave they don't even have to hear you anymore now even i'm gonna be honest this ability is a bit overpowered basically what happens is that you gain the ability to um call upon a giant meteor strike uh yeah you're gonna be making tactical missiles in no time so basically if you press your v key will happen is that you will levitate in the air and uh meteorites will uh rain from the sky and yeah yeah it's uh it's quite powerful I'm, i must say i must say it's quite powerful and you can also combine this with the um the star so you can fly around creating tiny tiny meteors like i did over there and uh, another thing you need to keep in mind is that in order to balance this, I uh, I, I made it a 30 minute cooldown. Don't worry, I'm not I'm not that much of a madman. <laughs> I guess we give it like a five minute cooldown. Just you can you can call upon your own nuclear strike every five minutes. <laughs> oh my god. Now with all the abilities out the way, it's time to now go on to the debuffs. Now you guys all might be wondering, what is this uh, glass on my head doing? Basically, it's acting like a helmet, and uh, I cannot take it off. Um, if well, you can take it off, but you can't put anything on your helmet slot. So anything that you want to put in your helmet, so any type of netherite, iron, none of that. You can't have anything like that. But no, no, no. That's not even where it gets interesting. The next interesting part is actually your air because as you can see at the bottom and you guys have been saying this for quite a while now that little moon right there that moon icon that is your air basically what happens is that if you are uh under y level equals 90 then you will then your air will slowly de uh, deplete when it depletes all the way down you'll slowly die now there's no way to counter this however the only way you can get your air back is if you go above y level 90. If you go above Y level 90, then it will slowly start to regenerate, and then you can go back down to the ground. Uh, recharging takes around, recharging your air takes around like 5 minutes, yet using all of your air down there takes around two, uh, 10 minutes. So really be careful on your air and uh, how will you use it. Uh, if you want to, if you... Or if you are caught with your air going down, make sure you do it during nighttime so you can easily go above Y level equals 90. Anyways, uh, that's been all from me. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed. Make sure to tell me which one you like to see down in the comments below. And um, without further ado, I'll catch you all next time. Bye, bye. Digital out. Woo!